today I'm going to be doing a Lush demo. This is actually a Lush UK kitchen item. It is the Romance in a Stone Bath Bomb. And as you can see, it's on the smaller side compared to a normal size Lush Bath Bomb. Um, this one has what looks like dried rose petals inside and it looks like it that is throughout the bomb. And it smells really good. It has that nice rose floral scent and I smell a little bit of orange scent in there as well. It smells really good. I wish they had more products that smelled like this. Maybe even a perfume. That would be amazing. So unfortunately, since I bought this off the Lush UK website, um, I can't say for sure how much it was anymore. So we are going to stick this in and see what it looks like. Oh, well, something has just popped out of it. I feel like I just opened a box of cereal and I'm getting a prize. Let's see what it is. This is what was inside. I'm not sure what it is yet. Maybe it's directions to a buried treasure. I can't open it. I don't want to tear it. Here we go. Looks like a poem. Let us roll all our strength and all our sweetness up into one ball and tear our pleasures with rough strife through the iron gates of life. Thus, though we cannot make our son stand still, yet we will make him run. To his, from to his coy mistress by Andrew Marvel. So I had a cute little poem inside of it. That's really awesome. Um, the water did not, there's no color to it, which I assumed was going to happen since the bath bomb was white. But it did have lots of nice dried um, flower petals in there. And like I said, it smells really nice. It has a nice... Um, floral, just really feminine scent. Um, I definitely love the smell of this. I'm a little disappointed it didn't have a collar, but I like that there was a little poem inside. That was exciting. Um, so anyway, I'm going to let you guys go fill up my tub the rest of the way and hop on in, and I will be back with what I found in the bath afterwards. Alright guys, I am finished with my Romance in a Stone Lush Bath Bomb, and I really did enjoy it. I loved the smell of it, and as you can see, it does have some leftover petals in here that I need to wash down. Um, I'm also seeing a ring around the tub. 
Um, I just tried to take it off with just some water and a washcloth and it's not coming off super easily. Not quite sure what it is, so I'm definitely going to make sure I clean that off before it becomes an issue. This is the first time I had one that really didn't just rinse down with water kind of thing. Um, my secret to um, a clean tub after a product that needs a good scrubbing is the Scrubbing Bubbles Bathroom Cleaner. This stuff works amazing and I have nothing but good things to say about it. So just if you ever have issues or anything like that, I definitely would suggest this cleaning your tub out. Um, but overall, I really did like this bath bomb. The scent was awesome. I wish it had a, a color to it, but um, other than that, it was a really nice bath. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of it down below. Um, if you're not already subscribed, just hit that button. And you know, next time, I'm going to be doing a demo of my last Moon's Harvest bath bomb. This one is called Flutterby. And it is the last of my Valentine's Day products for Moon's Harvest. Their spring line is coming out soon, so let me know if you guys are interested in seeing any of those. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.